This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 358 for Wednesday, August 5th, 2020. This is Brian. And this is Lisa. You erased something on my board. I was just cleaning. So, <laughs> you know, we mentioned last week, you know, sometimes I go in, I usually go in on Sundays to the store and I take care of things. Right. You know, and I like to, I like to watch the people that are walking out in Appleton and people right. get out and they walk around and... You know, sometimes they'll sit down in the street, you know, they'll do things. And I saw this guy on Sunday, and uh, he's playing Scrabble. Playing Scrabble with the buddy of his, and uh, all of a sudden the wind picks up, the board goes, and the, the tiles are all over the, all over the street. I walk out, I said to him, hey, what's the word on the street? <laughs> All right. Okay. I love you very much. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> All right. So when we were prepping for the podcast, it was like, I don't think we have that much to talk about. But then when you put it on the board, it's like, we have a lot to talk about. Um, we have a new blog post up about Sailor Inc. Okay. Um, talk to me. There's a lot of it. <laughs> several of the uh, colors are leaving. No. Gone forever. Which so ones? when they are gone, they are gone. The Grenade, Ultramarine, My Beloved Apricot, Epinard. Are you going in any particular order? No. Pesh. <laughs> Why should I? Is that it? There's one more. Yes, there is. Sky High. Sky High. Yes. Uh, so those colors. They were in the lineup, and then uh, they were discontinued, and the U.S. Um, begged for them to come back, so they came back um, North American for exclusive. North American yeah. exclusive only. And uh, since then, Sailor has come out with about a zillion other colors, uh, so they are discontinuing those colors. We did stock up, um, but when these are gone, these are yeah. gone. So if you love uh, apricot like I do, grab a couple. I'd say the uh, right now the, the top three uh, heavy hitters are Epinard, Grenade, uh, and, and apricot are, yep. are selling too pretty good. Sky High is <clears throat> gorgeous. Ultramarine mm -hmm. is beautiful. Pesh is really pretty. Um, we do have a blog post up on uh, if you like you know, apricot, here are some alternatives. Um, but if you like those colors, sincerely grab them while we have them because when they're gone, when they're gone from the warehouse, they are done. Yep. Yeah, so, I'll, uh, I like the I like the Epinar. That's Epinar and Granada. I'll probably grab a bottle of each of those for myself. So, so there's that. All right. So that ink is gone. You already went out of order. I did. So I like uh, to do that you too. you run the show. Okay. I'm here just for. Um, um, Tasha is bringing out. Their blue jeans colors of ink. We just we, received. We the saw these last year. Did we? Yeah, when in we Japan, were in Japan. We saw them. Yes. Uh, so there are seven new colors. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Great. Okay. Classic jeans blue. Black jeans, gray jeans, indigo, navy, dark wash, and light wash. Okay. You know, you, you could have said anything and I'd have believed you because I don't know what they are. So, um, so the, the black them. is a, uh, I wouldn't call it a black, black, black. It's kind of a mid range black. Mm -hmm. The gray is very light gray. It's kind of pretty. Um, and then the rest and are, are all, all very assorted shades of, shades of blue. Tasha makes a beautiful, beautiful yeah. uh, ink in Jeans general. Blue. And those are, uh, those are on their way to us now. Yes. So, so those will be here, here probably any, sometime this week, probably. This week or next week, yeah. yeah. Okay. What next? Hit me. Might as, well, might as well stay with the Sailor Tasha train and... and Tasha, uh, so Sailor is coming out with um, a new pen for this year, the <clears throat> Curie Azure. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the... Uh, That's pretty. Last year we had the Angel's Delight from the cocktail series. Um, it's really, the new one this year is really pretty. Um, Lighter blue with dark blue ends? With the, oh, yeah, with the yellow ends. Oh, yellow ends. And, um, uh, just pretty, just pretty. Gorgeous, nice gorgeous, color. gorgeous. Yeah. They're also coming out with a set of 10 of 
the last 10 years of cocktail. And so in 2011, I gotta check my notes here. It was the Asian way, um, which was a really dark blue with clear ends. 2012 was the mojito, which was white and green. 2013 was black velvet. Looks like it was a dark brown from the pictures no, that we have. Uh, 2014 was Piccadilly Night. It was burgundy with a frosted cap. Um, 2015 was the Old Fashioned, um, different shades of yellow. 2016 was the Blue Lagoon. That was really pretty, light mm -hmm. blue with green ends. 2017 was the to be this one. Après Ski. This was a gift from a friend, and uh, we couldn't figure out what it was. And in mm -hmm. fact, when President Hisa came to visit from Sailor Japan, um, he, he and his team it. were all looking at it, trying to figure out, trying to remember what it was from. Uh, so that was the 2017 cocktail series, Après Ski. 2018 was Tequila Sunrise, um, Shades of Orange. 2019, last year, was the Angel's Delight. And then this year, 2020, is the Curie Azure. Uh, so the set of 10 will be a set of one. So you one literally of can buy all 10. Yes. Um, and they come in fine, medium fine, and medium. As a set. As a set. So if you want all 10. They're all 10 in a medium fine. Send us an email at info at andersonpens.com. Um, there'd be very, there'd be a limited number of sets. They come yes. with a special display and all this other stuff. Yep. Special um, case, special acrylic display, the right. whole thing. So we're, we're going we're gonna to get uh, a few sets. And if nobody's interested in the set, then we'll break them up individually and we'll sell them separately. Or I could keep a set. You, you talk to the boss. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, unusual to have a very large set, like, set that. like that. You know, I know other manufacturers have done in the past, but uh, this is the first one we've seen for sailors. So. And they're they're really going gangbusters with the whole set because there is the acrylic display. So we should mention stop, these. Stop well, touching my. <clears throat> I just want to mention these are these are full size pro gears. Yes. These are not pro gear slims. They're not nineteen elevens. Um, they're all they're all full size pro gears, twenty one karat nibs. Um, Love mine. So. Uh, so those are coming soon. Soon. So they're right. on order. Uh, just just keep an eye out. And uh, once what we'll, we'll probably do is we we've had some inquiries on sets, so we'll we'll let those people give them a first shot, and then after a very short period of time, we're just going to break them up because um, the sets are. We'll, we'll see what we get. They're, they're 10 pens, so they're not they're not super cheap. No, no. Nor should they be. Nor should they be. Because you no. can't find these. Yeah. You know. The display looks kind of cool. It's a nice little acrylic yep. display for them. I think them, it comes so. with a case. Yeah, yeah. So. Case, polished cloth, all sorts of stuff. Um. Yeah. All right. So we Sailor Cocktail Pens, Tasha Ink, Sailor Ink Leaving. You know, if you went in order, it'd be a whole lot easier. So next up. Hobonichi. So this morning... I was waiting for you to say something else. <laughs> I know, I was going to do it just to mess with you, but we'll go in order. Just uh, So this morning I thought that I had a doctor's appointment to um, have some blood drawn, and I got up there and... <clears throat> it's next week. It's next week. So we're going to talk about using our Hobonichi. Uh, have you used yours lately? Uh, I looked at it this week. <laughs> I had to pick it up to get something that was it was sitting on top of. Um, I, I actually put the doctor's appointment in mine. I just looked at it wrong. Um, I used mine last year more than I did any year previous. Every year I have I use it a little bit more, and I still have a few more weeks. Well, I think part of the problem is that our routine is off because yeah. of COVID, and so like I'm not going anywhere except to pick up groceries, order them online, pick them up, and then doctor's appointments. So I don't need to write much down. Um, but the point was, um, I have to learn to read my Hobonichi better. There you go. Uh, this is the time of year when the new Hobonichis Ooh. are announced and start to ship. Um, I think they're coming. It's a little earlier, tighter, tighter time frame this year. Normally, which I in the like. past, we have uh, we've put them up on the website. We've pre-sold. And then Hobonichi ships them, and like a month or so later, we ship them. Well, this year, August 25th, will be the first day we can announce what the new colors are, the patterns. Um, um, There's some cool ones. Um, there, there always is. And uh, so August 25th will be the first day we can announce. Oh, this is Japan time, but yeah. 
uh, all the new the new uh, Hobonichi, and then September first will be the first day to we can order. We sell them. Uh, and it looks like our Hobonichi shipment is we'll actually be. leaving uh, somewhere between the twenty first and the end of the month. So. Uh, we will have them pretty close to when you order them this year. So yeah. you order them and then we should be able to ship them out within probably a week or two right. at the very, very latest. Depending but, on customs yeah, and shipping yeah. and all that. I mean, this so. is, these are heavy boxes. Yeah. So. Um, there are some really cool patterns, some cool designs. Uh, we also are getting Hobonichi notebooks this yeah, year. Yeah, so they've had notebooks in the past. Uh, I guess we can say that. Yes. Um, they make a really, really neat notebook, and mm -hmm. they make a couple different kinds, and so we decided that that would be an interesting addition Add since yes. it's not, it's technically considered an accessory. It's not, you know, it's not a dated thing. It's just a notebook, um, and it looked great. Yes. So, uh, and, and it's fairly inexpensive, so hoping each notebooks. Yeah, we're excited um, about that. Yeah, so lots of, lots of cool stuff, and... Um, Slowly working to get all that... Uh, worded properly. Uh, now we should mention that all of the Hobonichi um, planners are Sunday start. So if you're like They're me. Sunday start? They're Monday start. Monday start, sorry. Monday start. <laughs> That's why it confused all me. Monday start. Monday start. Um, so it is different than here in the U.S. where most yeah. things are Sunday start. Hobonichi does make a Sunday start, but it's not the standard size Techo or the cousins, so they make it, it's a different, they call it the Hobonichi Original, I think is what it is. It starts on a Sunday, so it's a little different format. Uh, we had thought about getting it, but everybody's used to the the classic Taito, the B004 um, that everybody buys. And yep. So we, we're not gonna mess with it. If, no. if the Taito came out in a, in a Sunday start, I would say we should do it, but. Yeah, so these are all Monday. Monday. Monday start, sorry yep. about that. Justin, you're gonna fix that, right? Yeah, great. Um, so anyway, we'll be able to reveal them on August 25th and be able to start pre-selling them on September 1st. And our ginormous shipment should arrive shortly after mm -hmm. that. So you don't have to wait nearly as long, which is awesome. Yep. Um, so start stocking up on your pens and your ink and your washi tape and your stickers and whatever else. So, awesome. I'm excited for a whole bunch this year. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up. Are you going to get a, which size are you going to uh, use this year? I, I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking maybe I would try the Cousins this year, but I think that's way too much. So I may stick with the, the okay. Tato. I, I haven't decided. I may just get the, the, the refill and then put it in last year's cover because I really like that. That mint cappuccino was kind of a neat. Okay. I like that. So. I actually have two covers for my Cousins, so. Well, yes. One. Well, no, you do? I do. Oh, but they're not Hobonichi covers. No. No. Oh, no. Okay. They're just A5, A5, A5 covers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're nice. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, because I got mine later in the year. So yes. anyway, yes. Um, let's talk shipping. Great. Awesome. So we have never stopped shipping because of COVID. Yep. Um, even when both stores were shut down and everything was shut down, Brian and Dave would still go in and do shipping um, answer emails and all of that uh, part time, and then uh, we were doing pretty much Monday... for, for a while there. The only thing we would get done, we go into the store. The only thing we do get done is shipping and, and then, receiving packages. And that was it. So, um, so we've never stopped shipping. Uh, we are still doing shipping Monday through Friday. Um, sometime in September, we'll start to open back up again uh, on Saturday, depending on COVID, but. Um, what we wanted to address was shipping delays. Once a package leaves us, we have no control over it. And so there are some COVID hotspots where shipping is delayed. Um, it's usually like a day. A day or two. Two max. Um, but... Some of these places are um, shorter staffed, either people are sick or people mm -hmm. are staying home or they're doing um, split shifts or whatever. And so um, we really want to have, we really want to encourage you to, um, number one, create an account when you order. That way you can log into your account and track your package yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you email us, we're going to give you that same information. 
and there's nothing we can do um, to move it along faster. I know sometimes we've had customers complain that a package has sat at a certain place for two days. Um, that's, the pro that's a problem with that particular post office and, and their time frame. So there's nothing that we can do right now. We haven't, we haven't lost in the last five years, maybe two packages yeah. in the last yeah. five years and so, nothing this year. So packages are going to get there. It's just going to take a little bit extra. Right. Uh, we, we appreciate your patience as uh, yeah. the post office gets works through some of the issues that they're having. So. Yeah, and of course the we're, get, we're getting it out pretty quick. So and the poor postal people, you know, they're dragging around these packages to companies that are closed, yeah. and you know, I would not want to be a postal worker right now. So just check your tracking and just um, be patient. Yeah, sometimes it's an extra day. So yep. next up, let's talk about life. You know, I like to get up in the morning, <laughs> no, have don't. coffee, <laughs> watch the dew on the grass in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life stationary. Oh, I like life. I know you do. Uh, we are expecting a restock, I think today. Is it today? Yeah, it is I think today. So. It is today. Um, a restock and a bunch of new product from Life Stationery. So we're there's, getting. Well, there's one I'm stoked about, embarrassingly enough. Really? The little leather. I don't know. Never mind. Keep All going. Right. Um, <laughs> You don't usually get that giddy I, about I, it's, a, it's a cool, I know, I'm like, I'm... I don't know if we're getting those. We are. We're getting two. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, um, a restock of like the Life um, Vermilion pistachio. and the Pistachio, yep. a bunch of things we haven't had in a long time, and we are just super excited to finally have restock on some of those. And then a bunch of new products. Yep. Um, Basically, we had to go directly to Japan. Sort of directly to Japan yeah, to get yeah. get what we needed to get. Um, some cool new um, pads of blank paper, mm -hmm. lined paper. <clears throat> some cool Little small memo pads. Yeah. Uh, some top coil bound things. Yeah. I mean, just a lot of neat, neat, neat stuff. Yes. So, so we're super excited to have yeah. that in stock, and then um, to carry some new things. I'm well, going to be excited to see you excited about paper. Well, you know, I mean. It's, it's, it's not, it, it, they make such an interesting product because the pistachio, just that cool pistachio line, the vermilion, you know, just, it's a different lines option, you know, instead of your standard gray or, you know, it was used to be a big deal, white lines, ooh, they're white. Right. <laughs> you know, everybody else, it's gray or it's blue. Why don't we do pistachio? Can you imagine that board meeting? Let's do pistachio. Cool. Um, so they just 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 neat notebooks, and, and some of those are, are are fairly thin. They're not expensive. Um, you're good good notebooks. Great. So those uh, keep your eye out for those. Yep. Uh, jotters. If you like the Parker Jotter Ballpoint, um, some of you may like the Jotter XL, which is uh, I don't know how they measure this. Seven percent bigger. It's eight percent bigger. Okay. I believe it's eight. All right, seven and a half. One percent. It's is a little. Difference. It's a little bigger. Um, there are four new colors in the monochrome. Do you know what they are? Uh, black, stainless, gold, and brushed. No. Black, gray. Gray. Uh, pink, gold. Oh, it's, it's pink rose gold, gold. but it they call gold. it pink it gold. gold. And then there's a gold. There's a gold, okay. Yes. All right. uh, so those are coming in. We've got them on order. I think they're on back order right they now. They look nice. You know, we have the XL in, they come in the four colors. It's a gray, blue, green, and black. Those are um, nice. It is, you know, and, and that is, the Jotter really hasn't changed in size since it first came out 60 years ago. Yep. These new ones, and that's always been everybody's complaint. It's, well, it's a nice pen, but it's... You know, it's a little thin. It's got. It's a little bit thin. It's a little bit small. It has nice action uh, on the Love button. That click. Um, it's nice tension, but it's too small. And the XL, I think, really is a great size. It, it steps it up just the right amount. Um, Eight percent. It, it seems like it's more like twenty percent, but um, it is what it is. So it's, it's a nice, nice size uh, pen, and uh, you know you can you can throw those things around, and they're just they're bomb proof and not expensive. The new colors like match your cell phone if you have an iPhone. Ooh, they may, oh they're all cell phone and uh, yep. Mac colors. Yep, same thing like the Lamy LXs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could have a an LX and a then a Jotter to, to match, match your iPhone. Your iPhone. Cool. Space gray. There you go. Awesome. Those are coming soon. Yes. Um, 
I'm going to add a couple things that aren't on here. All right. I'm almost out of coffee, so. I know. You can drink mine. Nope. <laughs> um, paper blanks every year. Beautiful, beautiful covers. Great paper for their journals. Um, we have some patterns that are going away, so definitely um, if there's anything you like, uh, grab it now. And then they do, um, they are coming out with some new patterns that we'll have up on the site in the next week or so. Um, so I'm really excited about a couple of those. And uh, Loic Term 1917 has some gorgeous new colors as well. Okay, and that stuff's coming? Yes. Okay, awesome. New notebooks. Great. I know. What else you got? Oh, so starting next week, if uh, for all you local fans, um, uh, you may notice a new uh, individual behind the counter. A new face. A new face uh, at AP. Um, our good friend uh, for many, many years. I, Amanda and I have known each other for... Many, 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 many. many. Not quite as long as Dave and I, but probably close. Close, to, close to 20 years probably. Uh, our good friend Amanda is coming on board and she's going to be on the sales floor. Um, she's uh, as newbie as a fountain pen noob can be, so uh, you know, be patient with her. Uh, she's learning just like the rest of us. And, uh, and she's going to be on staff and it's going to be awesome. Yep. She's so. going to do uh, sales and shipping and then uh, help us with inventory, yep. uh, so. which will be great, especially once I go back to Chicago. So if you come in, uh, in the Appleton store uh, starting next week uh, and see a new face, just uh, say hi to Amanda. I gave her, um, oh, and we had a company picnic, a company barbecue this weekend. Uh, social distancing, everybody was, was safe and careful. Um, but it was really great to see everybody except Justin all in one place. <laughs> Get the jab to the guy <laughs> behind the camera. You couldn't make it. You could have been there. He had an obligation he couldn't get out of. And I'm sure he would have rather have been with us. Yeah, the brats and burgers were terrible. And they were really The beans good. were awful. Um, but uh, so when Amanda, Amanda and her husband were there and got to meet everybody, and uh, when she left, I gave her a Retro 51 Rollerball okay. uh, to play with and my um, Decimo Vanishing Point. Oh, you gave her a Decimo. Yes. Okay. And All she right. texted me and said that she was writing out bills and she was using it. And she was very excited because she did not get ink anywhere that it was not supposed to be. Okay. Well, so, that's good. And she, she, has a, she has a little more unusual <clears throat> Oh, she does style. hold it weird. Yeah. I, so... I don't know what uh, she does. You but. know, if, 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 you know, and I know some people, they, they, they may hold their pen weird. And I know some people are a little bit self-conscious about, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. Right. Uh, but Amanda's the same <laughs> way. So you've got a, you know, kindred spirit there. No, what is she, she holds it like between her two fingers. I don't know. We got to work on that. Yeah. That's, well, <laughs> so that look anyway, uh, welcome Amanda. And yep. uh, we'll see you next week. I'm excited so. to have somebody take over some of the ordering. <clears throat> Um, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Check your huge list here. I think we hit all the high points. I think so. We'll have an announcement next week. We will. Uh, We're going to have an announcement next week. About more Sailor Ink. Oh. Oh, um, Texas. Texas. And New York. Yeah, that's right. So there are two new uh, U.S. Uh, state editions coming out in the Sailor Ink line. So previously we had California and Colorado. Uh, Texas and New York are coming out. Uh, they should be here any day now. Yep. Uh, same 20 mil bottle, a uh, little outline of the state on the front. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Texas is kind of like a brown, brown. and New York is like a, a blue. dark blue, blue yes. black um, to, to match a baseball team in the New York area. There you go. <clears throat> so anyway, new ink uh, from Sailor and I think that's it for this week. I think so. So. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Definitely check out the blog for news, ink reviews, Mr. Paper, Think Thursdays, um, and all sorts of other uh, announcements. And uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Our Chicago store is still closed. We will keep you posted once we hear that the hotel has reopened. So, in other words, we're in, uh, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 5.30 here in Appleton. And uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye.